Eight. Decided to kick it out, and the Lakers lose by four. Hey, it's just their second loss in the last nine games. Here's LeBron on today's contest. LeBron, what stood out to you in the second and third quarters when Orlando was able to flip the game around? Uh, just a momentum switch. Uh, I can't just say what, what, what happened. I think... Um, you know, defensively, we kind of broke down, and the energy level was a little lower than our, than you know, our expectations, and they they took advantage of that. In your experience, what's the best way to flip that momentum back if you can, like you did in the fourth quarter? Uh, we just try to pressure them as much as possible, uh, get stops, and get out and uh, you know execute offensively. And we did that. We got back into the game, gave ourselves a chance to win. What do you think the common thread has been with the turnovers the last couple of games? Um, some of them are being um, too unselfish, including myself. Um, I'm making some passes where, you know, I have a, a small window, um, seeing guys where I should probably hold on to it. Um, you know, some of them, a lot of them are unforced. Uh, some of them are attack turnovers, um, but we got to do a better job of that. We know we haven't been well. We haven't taken care of the ball the last two games. You mentioned that he feels like it's almost like the less you guys are passing throughout the game, the higher the turnover numbers have been. Have you noticed that at all? Um, I don't know. I will have to take a look at it, you know, in that way. I know, um, you know, I know me personally, my turnovers aren't coming from the less passes that I make. Um, you, know, you know, I've had a, a couple of turnovers where I look back and was like, you should have just held on to that one. Um, or, um, you know, I had two of mine was, you know, running to guys and they call an offensive foul. I didn't even have a ball. Uh, but, you know, last two games we just um, haven't taken care of the ball, and we can't we can't afford to do that. Have you guys gotten away from moving the ball the way you were uh, earlier in the year? You feel like you're still. Well, well first of all, um, one of our league leaders in assists has, has, been, has been out with a broken hand, so that that has something to do with it, you know. So, um, but I think we, you know, we have the right intentions um, to go out there and share the ball when guys are open. We try to find them. Sometimes we're missing guys. Um, you know, but we have to just look at the film and, and know where, you know, where the passes are, where guys are going to be. Um, you know, I, also, <laughs> I had a blind pass today where I thought uh, B.I. was in the corner in the first quarter and he took off on me and uh, threw it out of bounds. And, you know, just, it's just continue to, to learn, uh, you know, one another on the floor. LeBron, uh, you guys threw a lot of looks defensively at Vucevic tonight, but he still had another big game. What's been the secret to how he's had two big games now against you? Had our number this year. You know, you can say, you know, very good player. Does it both inside and outside. He just had our number. When you found KCP for that that open three, um, did you have a, a chance of a shot there, or was it? Did you see a better shot? I always got a chance of a shot. That's that's not even a question. But you know, when you have, um, you know, you attract so many eyes in the defense. You know, I had a good shot, but he had a great shot, and you live with the result. Okay, there are a couple of things to unpack there. Let's start by piggybacking off of what LeBron just said there, right, that he always feels like he has a shot, but he's looking for the better opportunity where, Candace, you thought he may have had a look in the paint. He kicked out the KCP 4-3. Well, I've learned through time, don't question LeBron James because LeBron James is going to get you to the promised land. And I guess his mentality could have been that, you know, the game – has been on my shoulders a lot this year, and it's time for other people to be able to step up and knock down those shots. But if hindsight is 2020, and whether LeBron James wants to admit it or not, an open layup to extend the game mm -hmm. in a game that you haven't played well, I'm taking LeBron James hitting that shot well, nine, nine times out of ten. I got to see it because I didn't see an open layup. I don't see that well. <laughs> Candace's <laughs> eyes are much better than mine. I thought there were two defenders there. And he had to come to a jump stop, and he, I thought he made the right play. And I, I, I think bigger Here picture it is. too, right there. Yeah, I don't Ooh. see how he was gonna dunk that. Uh, you so might have gone up for you, a layup. I don't see how he's gonna dunk. He, again, he could have gone up for the layup. I mean, I understand. He could have missed the layup too. Like we, we assume that if he shoots it, he's just gonna make it. But w w we can talk about this for a little while because this ain't why they lost the game. We, we, we'll get to that. The other part of it, but, in that same play. Yeah. No one got back on defense. But the thing about the play he made, too, and again, this is a bigger picture play. He's got to gain all those guys' trust. And he's showing them, look, I'm coming to you in big moments. And I used to say this about Greg Popovich. I used to say this about Phil Jackson. you got to use the regular season to prepare for the postseason. And so he's got to make play. It's not like we haven't seen 
in 16 years, LeBron make plays to win games by scoring. But we've also seen him make plays by making his teammates better. Mm -hmm. And we also know LeBron James is good enough to win a world championship. What we're trying to find out, as are the Lakers, who else on our roster is good enough for us to compete for championships. And so those are those are the reasons why you make plays. And he made the comment. He said, yeah, I could have I can always get a good shot. But KCP had a great shot like in basketball. The ball is supposed to find the, the open man. And that's why the Golden State Warriors are so great. That's why the Spurs had all those championship teams like you got to make the right play like everybody. He's not Kobe. He's not going to take the tough hard shot and hit it, which yeah, he probably could. But his mindset's more of a point guard to begin with. Now, having said all of that, we need to focus on what they didn't do defensively because that they look like the first part of the season. And this is where the real issues are for this basketball team. I mean, this play here, they're going to just run what we call some horns action, mean two bigs up high, and it gives uh, DJ Everson a chance to go out of the way. KCP, you got to dictate. You got to make him use the screen. You can't allow them to break their defense down. You can see Vooch is wide open. And Brandon Ingram, he might as well buy a ticket to the game. I don't know what the hell he's doing just standing in the corner at winning time. And then here, again, the play we just talked about, wide open three in rhythm. I will take that for a shooter every time. Look at Kyle Kuzma. Does he know it's 15 seconds left in the game? Oh, wow. Is that in slow motion? I mean, that's embarrassing because if you get back and foul, and they go to the line, make one or two. It's still a ton of time. It's so that's it, it's not just the lack of effort. It's a lack of awareness and experience. So in fairness, like these guys are still learning. Like it, it, you know, Kuzma, they haven't been in this league a long time, and they have not had any success prior to this year in terms of winning. And so those are going to be teachable moments for Luke Walton and for LeBron James and that coaching staff. But the sense of urgency has got to be there defensively for this group. Well, they weren't guarding Nikola Vucevic. I mean, 31 points, 15 rebounds. You point out a clip where you could have had two more points. Yeah. Eight, 67 points in those two wins for Orlando against L.A. this season. He destroyed them. Well, he's been steady Eddie. This is, you know, that's v Vooch. And Vooch has been consistent for a bad Orlando Magic team in the past. Well, this year, they're 500. And he's able to stretch the floor. Obviously, they drafted Mo Bamba this year for length, for athleticism, for the defensive end. But his activity on the defensive end has improved this year. But the offense that Steve Clifford has put in isn't just them throwing the ball down low for Vooch to play isolation. It's magic cutting off of him. It's him distributing. He's had a couple triple doubles this year. He's playing outstanding, but he's been consistent. And, I, you know, earning Eastern player, player of the week, I mean, what, second time in his career? I think now people are starting to take notice because Orlando Magic is winning. And it's interesting that they, the Lakers all, were a hot team coming into this one. I mean, seven wins in their last nine games, those two losses, both against Orlando. So you got to give the Magic some credit.